Hello YouTubers, my name is Nixby and you are on the channel for those who love online skating and want to progress in it. And today we will be talking about the proper stride on inline skates. The second video of my winning from the very beginning series and I hope it will help you to avoid the mistakes of the complete beginners. And let's start. At first let me give you a small quiz. What is the main lower body part for inline skating? I will give you a few options. Option A. Butt. Option B. Feet. Option C. Hips. And option D. Knees. Think about it for a little time. I'm pretty sure that no one has answered butt. Because really it could be only that rare cases when your brain is inside your buttocks. And I hope there is no such people amongst my subscribers. If you answered feet, well, it has some sense, but it's very difficult to skate only with your feet. You have to include almost all of your body. If you were answering hips, then you are probably right. And some of the speed skaters and marathon skaters will say that hips are the main part of skating technique for the long distances. But I has always been the part of nation of knee benders. So today we will be talking mostly about the knees and how to work with the knees to create the proper stride for inline skating. Let's go! So how do we create the proper push in inline skating? Of course we are creating it with the legs and with bending our legs. You have to imagine that your each of your legs is a giant spring. And of course to get the proper push you have to at first squeeze that spring. So when you're trying to skate like that, like that, like most of the beginners do, you are not creating the proper push because you are almost not squeezing your springs. And in order to understand how to squeeze your springs, you have to understand how their knees are working. It's raining. Great. I like to skate in rainy. I will show you a small and very simple exercise that will give you the understanding of how to move your knees and how to move your whole body and legs during the stride. Let's take our initial position. Basic stance, how I showed it in my previous tutorial. Yeah, it's very difficult to move right now to the front because our feet is almost parallel. You can put one of your feet here like that, okay? What we have to do now is only one simple thing. We have to start squeezing that spring, start bending that leg in the knee and move the knee to the front by bending it, okay? So like that, something like that, yeah? Of course to bend it you have to move the weight of your torso on it and this is what you really need to do during the inline skating you can block yourself with that other leg okay just a little bit with another leg it's like that we are just bending our knee to the front once you will get comfortable with that move, you can start gently rise the back foot and then put it near the front one in the end of the move. Of course there will be part of a fear when you are taking your foot from the ground and putting it near the other foot, but if you are putting your weight properly and you are moving with your knee properly, your weight will be on that foot and there is nothing, nothing scary in just lifting that other feet up. Next, 
you have to try to move both your feet one after another just bend one knee bend another knee bend one knee bend another knee let's take a look once again one knee feet another knee feet one knee another feet this starting with the knee will also help you to avoid that mistake with the pronation when your feet are going like that because if you are controlling that knee you know that it should look forward not to the center but forward you can also look a little bit to the outside and your feet will be on the outer edge so try to keep the knee forward and even a little bit to the outer edge i'm showing it to you right like that but it's better to have your hands in a ready to fall position like i showed it in the previous video one knee another knee one knee another knee and that's in fact all this is the main parts of the proper striding technique see you in the next video don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are not yet subscribed don't forget to hit the thumbs up leave the comment share that video in your social media and so on i will be very grateful for you for that bye bye